James, aside from a roller coaster, how do you and the players assess the 2018-2019 season? Um, well, it's, it's, we're not where we want to be, obviously. You know, we'd love to have finished a lot higher up the table. But uh, given um, how things planned out, you know, and obviously managed to stay safe now. So, you know, I say it's turned into a positive, and it has really. Uh, with the way it would like to say, with the way it's planned out, yeah. Um, without getting all deep and emotional, was there was there a point in the season where you thought relegation was a genuine possibility? Um, you mean like the lowest point? Yeah. Probably when we lost at home the four 0 to Donny, I think, and then obviously when when the gaffer um, sort of left. Yeah, so that was that was probably one of the lowest points where everyone was a bit doom and gloom. Yeah, they they, they were. Yeah. And yet here we are, and you are going to be playing League One football. Graham Coughlin, how much credit does he deserve? Yeah, massive, because um, obviously uh, he he, sort of, he stepped in, obviously, and um, we picked up some extremely good results, didn't we, uh, away from home as well. And, uh, you know, thankfully he got the job, and uh, we managed to kick on from there and carry on that uh, form that we had when he was interim manager. Has it been a drag just getting over the finishing line in recent weeks? Have performances reflected that? Yeah, I think so. I think there's been a bit of nervousness about our play in them last few games where the week seemed to go as in, like, oh, if we, if we win this week and a few results go away, uh, we'll be safe. And it's sort of, we sort of dragged it on because it sort of, um, well, a few results didn't really go away and we weren't really picking up the results we wanted really. So, yeah, it seemed to drag quite a bit, but thankfully we've got it sorted now. Yeah, so, and, and will we just notice that now the pressure oh, yes. might you uh, actually. Uh, well, like, like I said, there was a bit of nervousness with, with our play, a bit of nervousness, uh, as you can see in a few of the games, uh, especially in some of, the, some of the home games of late, the last two with the... Uh, um, but, yeah, like, you say, like, we've got the shackles off sort of thing, we can play a freedom now, but, like, that's what the Apple was trying to breed into us anyway, to play a freedom since he's been in, so... So, yeah, like, you'd expect so, yeah, because there's not as much pressure on, so there might be a bit more... I say freedom about our play, but like that's what we've been trying to be like, anyways. And like a lot of clubs, next season if you make the right additions, you'll be hopefully challenging, certainly for a top seven finish. Well, yeah, that would be the plan, wouldn't it? Like um, we look at the form table since the gaffer took over, you know, and um, that's like the mini league we look at, and uh, we're a lot higher up the the table than we were and than we are now as a as like a, as a false league, obviously. Like, but um, looking at now, it's a uh, bit more positive than uh, looking at the actual league from the first sort of four or five months. And you personally, well played, you've, you've had a good season haven't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, like I say, like, I'd like to have finished higher up the league, but um, yeah, uh, as a personal, it's my best return I think in terms of uh, game time and um, obviously got two goals. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so machine. <laughs> you've always had... <laughs> Um, you've always been like Mr. Versatile, haven't you? But do you start feeling now, rather than you know a squad player who can fill in, you, you've become a first team player now and a, and a regular starter for the team? Yeah, you could say that. I'm still moving about, sort of thing. But I feel like I've, I've, I've earned a position, if that makes sense. Not exactly a position, but one within the defence, maybe sort of thing. So, and like we got, um, I think it was 18 clean sheets. So, like. That's unheard of within a relegation battle, really, isn't mm. it? So you know, it's a positive for the defence, but obviously, like I say, like it's still not a positive. We've ended on a positive by staying up, but it's not been a positive season as such, really. Yeah, and a final word on the supporters. Um, there'll be eight, nine, possibly ten thousand people at the Barnsley game on on Saturday. They've supported you through thick and thin, haven't they? Even when times were tough, I don't ever remember them really getting on your backs. No, no, like don't get me wrong. There's sometimes where like we probably needed a. Few moans and groans from them uh, over the season with some of the performances we've uh, put on display. But you know, fair play to them, much like, credit to them because they stuck with us through uh, thick and thin, and um, they've been a massive part of dragging us out of the problems that we've put ourselves in. Mm. Who's in charge of the music at Rovers? Oh, he listens to that. <laughs> yeah, <now>. rub it. <laughs> I think that's locked. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good summer. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.